Hey everybody, this is your girl here, Holly Franklin, bass chick, for another episode of Broke Musician's Guide. So today I'm going to be talking to you about strings. So guitar strings are very vital, obviously, playing your guitar. You gotta have something to play on. So having really good quality strings is very important but it can get very expensive. So I'm gonna give you a couple tips in order to maximize your profit and your playing with strings. So tip number one I'm going to give you is investing in really good quality strings. So bass strings are very expensive. They can cost 20 to $50 for a great set. So I like to use the Diadero strings. These are really great quality strings. This is a regular light gauge string, so it's a little bit lighter um, than maybe a heavy string. So depending on what level of gauge you like to play with will depend. So if I'm restringing my own guitar, I will get Ernie Ball or I'll get Diadero or anything that's kind of cheap. And this was a five string set. I do play a five string bass. So this is a long scale one. But yeah, these are really good. Diadero's good. Ernie Ball is good. Fender. Um, so I definitely would recommend those. So that's tip number one, investing in really good quality strings. Tip number two is investing in a really good string lubricant. So I have bought the Tone Finger Ease um, Spray Lubricant. And I haven't actually used this yet, but I'm actually excited to use it. It offers a faster fret change reduce finger tenderness and stops the string talk. So I'm actually going to probably do demonstration of this to show you guys. But I also love the GHS Fast Fret String Cleaner. I'm going to put a link to the video I have reviewing this and showing a demonstration of it. This is really great as well. So that's the second tip is getting a really good string lubricant. Third tip is to go have your strings changed every month or so or every couple weeks depending on how often you play will depend on how often you should have your strings changed if you are a performing musician you're playing weekly nightly whatever it is you want your strings changed probably bi-weekly if you aren't really playing out as much you're maybe just practicing more at home probably monthly or even bi-monthly have your strings changed? Having your strings changed is extremely important. I like to go to Guitar Center. They have $19.99. I like to go to Guitar Center. They will change your strings for $19.99, and that's not including tax with that. Um, with tax, it'll be over $20. And they will change the strings. They'll use a string package that they have there so if you prefer if you prefer like Diadro, Ernie Ball, depending on what you prefer, they will grab the strings and they will actually destring your instrument, clean it completely, restring it, and you're paying for all that. So I think that's a really good investment if you don't know how to change your strings or you just don't have the time or you just don't want to do it yourself. So definitely Guitar Center is a great way to go with that. So I like to go there and do that and they will just completely clean your instrument off and um, it's just really easy. And it's really actually very inexpensive compared to buying the strings and doing it yourself sometimes because I guess depending on your level of experience and how you like to um, take care of your guitar will depend on what method will work better for you, but I really like to do the Guitar Center method, so about monthly is a good uh, way to go with that. So those are just a couple tips I have for um, the broke musician who needs help on strings for your instrument. So definitely take these tips into consideration if you have your own tips on strings. I would love to know in the comments below and if there's any videos you would like me to do I would love to know you guys and I love you guys so much please like and subscribe to my channel and please put links to your channels I want to get to know you guys I really like connecting with you guys it really just makes you feel part of the music community so I love you all so so much have a great day God bless you